Okay, today I have a special guest with me today. And my daughter, can you turn around so we can see you? This is my daughter, B. B is her nickname on my blog. And she is how old? Eight. She's eight. And what grade are you in? Second. Second grade this year. And we've been working in our All About Reading. So this year she is in level three, right here of All About Reading. She started in the pre-level and um, now this year in, in second grade, she is gonna be finishing up level three. And I get a lot of questions about how I use the program and what a lesson looks like. So she was gonna help me demonstrate a lesson today. So we're gonna be doing lesson 21, which you can see here, it's the sound of er, as in hurry. And every lesson has um, an introduction to a new sound or a new team that you're learning. And so we review those. We often do the phonogram cards. We start with those, we add our new team, and we go through those, and she tells me all the sounds. Do you want to do a couple? I the three letter I, mm, F U F, A I. So we always work through those. Then we pick out some of our word cards and we review these. These are just some common words and they illustrate some of the teams and phonograms that we've been learning. So she reads through a handful of these each day and then we move them to the back of our little box. So we work through those. And then a lesson usually begins with some work with our tiles. So what I've done with my tiles is I have them on jelly roll pans and I have just our alphabet and our vowels on the top board. Underneath I have different letter teams. I have vowel teams and consonant teams, the different sounds of er. And below that I have suffixes, prefixes, and the syllable marking ones. So I have those Kind of stacked up so we can put them up high on the shelf and keep them away from the little ones. So in this lesson it does start with a review of some earlier teams. So I spell out a word for her. Let's spell it out. Keep them stacked up. Okay so you're going to divide that word into syllables and then you're going to read it to me. Earth Day. Good and why don't you mark the syllables. What kind are they? What's the first one? Mm-hmm, that's an R-controlled syllable. And what about the second one? Hmm. Do you remember? Mm-hmm, that's a vowel team. Okay, so each lesson starts with a little bit of review uh, where we kind of cover some previous concepts. And then in this lesson, we are learning er, hurry, which is you are. And then I typically spell several words for her where she can practice reading some words with that team. There you go. Hurt. Hurt. And we often play change the letter where I just change one letter at a time. So one of the ones that we start with is here it has this one. Burn. Burn. And we'll change it to perp. What is it? Perp. What's the first sound? Burp. Burp. So I change one letter at a time, and each time we're making a new word, and she's practicing with our new letter team. It's a vowel team this week. And then every lesson always has a game. And she told me that this is her favorite part, isn't it? You like playing the different games. So we'll look through our notebook. And what I did to help me organize the program and organize all the games is I put everything in a giant binder in page protectors. And so I have our game right here in a Ziploc baggie in a page protector so that I can keep this program for later kids and I can reuse it and we can replay the games. So I'm gonna let you set up. This is a race car game. So I'll let her set up her car. And then she's going to be building a racetrack as she correctly reads all of the words. Hurry. Curve. Urge.
sturdy. Slurp. Uh oh. Can you reach it? First. Curb. Burn. Fur. Flurry? Mm hmm. Flurry, like a snow flurry. Thursday. Saturday, purple, turn, urgent, burger. Okay, do you want to drive your car? So she built her racetrack, and she has a little car that she can drive on it. That's one of the games uh, for this lesson. And then at the end of the lesson, we introduce any new words from our box. All the lessons have new words that you add. So we would go to the back to the new section and then put them in the front so that we can work on those each day. And then every lesson also has fluency pages. So I'll get to those. And we practice those after playing our game. And a lesson usually takes us about two or three days, depending on how well my kids are doing with a new team. So the fluency pages in this level, there are usually two pages per lesson and they always start with some new words and then sometimes they have review words and then they have sentences. Um, here's some more words on the back. And so usually we do one page a day. So we introduce the lesson, we start with the new team, we build the words on our tile board and we play the game and read the first page. And then on day two of the lesson, we review our word cards and our sound cards, our phonogram cards, and we read the second page of our fluency pages, and then we play a game. And we either play the game for this lesson or often we go back and review a previous game just for extra practice. So I'm gonna have her read part of a fluency page so you can kind of see how they bring in some more words with the same sounds and then they put them into sentences with words that they should already be able to decode from what they know. Church, purse, nurse, fur, hurry, burger, return, purple, turn, Saturday, hurt, turtle, Thursday, curve, hamburger. Ten helpless turtles thanked us for our kindness. A purple bro bird on a bike whizzed past me. How did the cats get flour in their fur? I put more pickles on my hamburger. Meg found a sleeping spider in her purse. I must return this broken robot to the shopping center. The reporter said that Thursday would be wetter and colder. Okay, good. And then um, usually after a lesson or after two lessons, it will introduce a new story from one of the readers. And there will be a page to warm up and practice for that story. And then we use one of the readers and we read the story. So on the weeks that we do a story, we just work on our word cards and our phonogram cards. We read the word page um, on the first day. And then on our second day, we go ahead and read the story out of the book after practicing with our cards again. So we can usually get through at least two lessons a week, sometimes three lessons, depending on how quickly we're moving through the program. Um, in earlier levels, there's the fluency pages seem to be longer. And so the levels just took a little longer to get through. So I'll have her show you maybe one other game really quickly so you can see the variety of games in the program. Um, here's one where she waters the garden and she reads all of the words on the back. This lesson was for the team um, DGE, which is J, the three letter J. So all of these words you can see have that team somewhere in there. But she would read all of these and she would water her garden and they slide in under here. And when she's done, you wanna open it? She can open her garden and see that her plants have been growing. So that's another simple game from one of the other lessons. That's from lesson, 
I think, 33 with one of the other teams. But that just gives you kind of a little idea of what a lesson would look like. They take us um, usually about 20 minutes or so, sometimes 30 minutes, depending on how long the story is, if we're reading a story from the reader that week. So sometimes those lessons take a little bit longer. But I'll let my daughter B tell you a little bit about what she likes about the program. So you wanna tell me, so what is your favorite part of the program? I like playing the games and reading some of the new stories. Okay, do you have a favorite story? The Moon Catcher. The Moon Catcher. So do you like this level better or did you enjoy the green level, level two better? I think I'll, I like this one better. This one better. Okay, well, thank you B for helping me today. She was willing to help demonstrate what a reading lesson looks like in our house, but they're pretty short. It's pretty efficient. I don't have to do any planning ahead of time. I just open the teacher's manual and I'm ready to teach a lesson. So it's nice because it's pretty short, pretty quick. Um, I have two kids in level three. I have one child who is in level one and then another child who's gonna be starting the pre-level next year. So I'll have multiple levels going and it's easily manageable because the lessons are fairly short and don't require planning. Once I have everything set up right here in my notebook, I have everything cut out and ready to go for my whole year. So thank you, B.